Okay, so tonight I'm gonna to actually show you um, how I check relief on my bases. Uh, see, we have the uh, Steve Harris uh, Fender Precision up on the uh, up on the table here. So yeah, um, you know, I have posted some uh, information regarding relief and adjusting string action and all that stuff. And people have been asking questions. I've been meaning to do a video for a long time. So here it is. Um, all right, so I'm gonna show you, you know, how I start the process to check relief. Um, it's actually very simple. I got my tools right here. There's my feeler gauge. That's what I'll actually stick um, in between the seventh and um, eighth fret. You put it in between there and um, you can actually check the relief with that. And if that can fit right under that string and there's you know, very little contact with the string, you know your action's really good. It's uh, uh, point, uh, point zero 0.012. Um, that's the actual measurement that I use. I can actually go a little lower. I've done, you know, point, uh, zero 011, point, uh, you know, zero 010. But I can tell you right now that the 12, the point zero 012 on this is actually gonna touch the string a little bit. It's actually not that bad if it does that. So there's my capo. Here's another thing that you're gonna need because you're gonna put that on the first fret. <clears throat> this is my, uh, my little Allen keys. I have the mini Allen key, which is going to, that I use to actually adjust the, um, down yeah, the badass bridge. That's what I actually use to adjust the string action. So I was talking a lot about string action. I can show you how that's done. Um, and there's my, uh, you know, my Allen key that I use to adjust the truss rod. So um, I'm gonna start first. If I wanna check the relief, I put the capo on the first fret. Okay, I'm just gonna lock it down. Give me a second. So it's nice and adjusted on there. Capo is down. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna put it down on the last fret, okay? I hold and then I look right in between this area here. This is the seventh fret and the eighth fret, okay? Oops, it's actually right here. And you get close enough you can see that gap very, 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 very small. So I'm actually going to show you then. So like that area right there. So if there was a big gap there and look at the top of the fret, you measure from the top of the seventh and eighth fret. Okay. All right. If there was a big gap there, all right. And it was bowing and it was like a bow, right? Like a U and there was a nice gap, you know that you have to tighten your truss rod, all right? And one thing I always say, if you don't know what you're doing, you take, take it to a professional. Don't do any truss rod um, adjustments by yourself. Take it to a professional. Um, I can tell you though, if there's a lot of space there, um, you crank it to the right very little at a time. You're supposed to do like a quarter turn, you know, at a time I do a little small turn and you let it set for a day and you'll see that that little U shape will then get closer to the, uh, you know, closer to the string. And that's actually putting less relief on the neck. The more that there's like a U kind of shape there or a bow, there's more relief. Um, <clears throat> this is pretty straight and this is really, really low. So um, I like it super low. This is my preference. Not everybody's like that. So, um, you know, everybody has different taste. So anyway, um, I'm gonna show you next, I'm gonna then show you, you know, what you do is we put the feeler gauge in between the seventh and eighth fret. So hang on one second, I'll get that feeler gauge and I'm going on top of the seventh and the eighth fret right over here, okay? And you can see it is lifting it a little bit, which is actually not bad. It fits underneath, that's good for me, that works for me. But if it couldn't fit in there, you know that you have to loosen the truss rod a little bit, all right? A tiny bit, just to bring some a little bit more relief. This is actually how I like it right here, all right? See that right there? I'm putting it in, all right, okay? Now actually, let's see if I can make that a little bit better for you, all right? And that's how you use a feeler gauge. 
you see it's gently it's like just fitting in it's like really 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 good and it's just gently touching this the string the e string that's really really good so it's pretty damn low i'm actually going to take my hand off the last fret <laughs> i don't need to do that anymore and i can take my capo off it's not necessary at this point okay so i'm now going to show you really quick the badass bridge 